answered it, I think, five or six times. I'm sorry, I've answered it five or six times. I can give you the same answer, but I think it would waste everybody's time. That is the defiant Chicago Public School CEO, Forrest Claypool, apparently frustrated with reporters' questions about a fiscal bombshell. Another one. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. That bombshell, another shock for Chicago taxpayers. Chicago Public Schools revealing it is $269 million in the hole for next year. And it could mean higher taxes. We asked CBS 2's My Martinez to take a close look at the numbers. CPS schools will open on time this year and they will stay open during the school year. That's the good news from CPS CEO Forrest Claypool. The bad news? The school system isn't sure where the money will come from. The $5.7 billion budget is counting on $300 million in additional funding from the state. But that only happens if Springfield okays an education funding bill. We're not going to let the state off the hook for their constitutional responsibility to fund schools. Problem is, Governor Bruce Rauner is blocking special money for Chicago schools. And that's not the only hurdle CPS is facing. Claypool also dropped this bomb. His budget relies on $269 million in new funding from the city. Can you give us a better breakdown of where that additional $269 million will come from? Look, look our first uh, order of business is to pass Senate Bill 1. And as the mayor said yesterday, uh, we're not in a position to talk about local resources or local options. Uh, until uh, Springfield has li lived up to its responsibility to fund schools and appropriated funds for schools. With all due respect, though, we've seen that Springfield drags their feet on a lot of things. So are we just going to kick this can down the road without addressing it then? Well, Springfield will eventually have an education budget. I believe that. But we're prepared for, uh, we're prepared for what's necessary to keep our schools open on time and stay open. Translation? taxpayers would likely be on the hook for any shortfall. And with both city population and CPS enrollment declining again this year, the tax base is dwindling. We obviously have to make adjustments and we will make adjustments over time. And that could, of course, mean more layoffs. In a statement this afternoon, Chicago Teachers Union President Karen Lewis responded to the budget outline saying, quote, this entire ordeal reinforces the need for an elected school board and educators to lead CPS instead of bean counters who still can't count beans. The budget is expected to be voted on August 28th. In the newsroom, Mai Martinez, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. All right, Mai, thank you.